So you're going to want to start off by cutting the box open to expose the blank inside. This will make it easier to paint and see the outlined shape that you're going to draw on the box. And then now go ahead and draw whichever shape you desire on the inside with pencil to make it easier to erase any mistakes that you make. And we're going to go ahead and outline them with Sharpie afterwards. This will make it easier to cut it out with a box cutter and you'll get smoother lines because with scissors or a knife it's really hard and then you get these ragged edges and use a box cutter. So I was initially recording on my laptop and that footage, I don't know what happened to it. So I started recording on my phone and I can't figure out how to send it over onto my laptop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and explain to you guys what I did after I cut out the cardboard. So basically I went ahead and painted them first and I used this acrylic paint. Uh, from Target. It's in Satin Forest. I'll go ahead and link everything down below. And then afterwards when it was painted I let it dry um, and after that I went ahead and just kind of like made a stand because I only painted from this part above and I folded in this part and I just kind of added hot glued some cardboard in order to make it stand on its own. Then, uh, for this part, it's just toothpicks. I just stabbed them with toothpicks and I hot glued it on the back side so they would stay and they wouldn't fall out. And after that, I went ahead and just made these flowers and I hot glued those on as well. So this is pretty much all I did. And I did the same thing to this one only Doing the little crisscross method is more difficult, so for this one I just kind of did single toothpicks. It was a lot easier and a lot faster, so I recommend just doing this one. And same thing, I just went ahead and made a base to make it stand on its own. And for this part, since there was different uh, parts that I needed to attach, I went ahead and cut out like strips of cardboard and hot glued them on in order to make like have more support. And same thing, I just hot glued toothpicks on the back side that way it could stay and they wouldn't fall off. And this one also has some flowers, it has three of them. So, yeah. It was pretty easy. And lastly, I made these little like pots, like bases to cover up the ugly brown parts. And for this, I just used more tissue paper and I made a Mod Podge kind of. I used flour and water and I just mixed that together and I put the flour and water paste on here and then I just cut up the tissue paper and added it on there. It was really easy and for this I just used more cardboard on the inside you can see I just like added support like with hot glue gun so it would stay on both sides. So yeah, sorry if that doesn't make any sense and I'm sorry I couldn't have a video. But these two are just like the flaps on the box. So you just kind of bend them and then glue them together with extra cardboard to give it support to stay. Because if you try and just glue that part, it's not going to stay. So yeah. And I made two of these. I made a pink one and an orange one. Yeah. And I went ahead and just like stuffed them with card, not cardboard, with tissue. So you wouldn't be able to see all the other cards. So for the pots, um, 
I'm just going to do a quick example of like the tissue paper ruffles that I made. So you just take a piece like this, you fold it in half, that way there's two layers. You just take some scissors and cut it just like that. And you can make these little ruffles as thick or as thin as you want and you want to leave a good amount of space here on top, that way you can glue it onto the cardboard. And you want to start from the bottom of the base, of the little round pot thing that I made, and work your way up, that way these things don't glue onto each other when you're applying the pot. Also made these little props for my photo booth, and I'm just gonna explain a little bit on how I made these. This one and the little cactus I got at the dollar store. They were like the wall decor stickers, and so I just went ahead and stuck them onto a foam board, and then I outlined the or I cut it out around the little corners with a box cutter and then I just hot glued them onto a little wood stick dowel thing that I bought from Target. And I did the same with this one. They have different sizes so these two sticks aren't the same. Then for these two, I just printed these pictures out from Google on a regular piece of paper and I used the Mod Podge to glue them onto a of cardboard and same thing I just hot glued these little dowels onto them. Just let them dry and make cute little props. <laughs> 